Now I'll show you the T-Port deployment on the AWS Clouds. So you, after you have uh, installed your T-Port, and then you go into this web page, and go into the, this, uh, you go into the T-Port dashboard here. Okay, go to the dashboard and choose the T-Port, and then it will show you what attack okay, have been collected. So we will show you the last 24 hour we have so many attack here, different attack here. Okay, uh, you can choose uh, over the last month, and this is the last month the total attack in the last month. So uh, we have uh, also show you uh, what country, what the attacker country, and also the OS, their OS and the attack surface here. And this is how they uh, record uh, the hacker what uh, login username and all and also what the password here. The larger the the sign, that means the the more frequent. And this is also the uh, show you the C V E ID. And I will show you the interactive map here. Okay, you go into this one. This is the attack map here. It will show you uh, the real time instant attack. Okay, because this uh, item, this uh, teapot instant is deployed uh, on the east coast of the U.S. so that you can see the the attack from all over the world, from the Europe, from the uh, U.K., from the China, uh, and also and other country try to not attack to this uh, honey pot. Also, we can log in the honey pot to see what data uh, the honey pot, ha uh, the tea pot honey pot have collected. So we just uh, SSH to the tea pot, and the tea pot uh, we go into the the archive. The data archive. There's many file here, and each of this file is actually is the key trick of the hacker. So that when the hacker try to log in through the SSH, somehow log into uh, try to log into this honey pot, then they will try to uh, capture the key the key stroke here. So that I pay a key stroke file here. So they see that so the what the the hacker have a tie in. They try to uh, download some file from a remote site. Okay, so that this is actually the key stroke of the hacker that's uh, performed in the honey pot. So that the honey pot, the tea pot honey uh, pot, the honey pot is capture the key stroke of the hackers, the attackers. So that they down download a lot of uh, byte here. After you download it, it try to execute the file. Of course, it's not successful because uh, this is a honey pot. So that uh, even then that the, the hackers uh, thought that they have downloaded the file but they cannot execute it so that this executed command is not found it's actually not, not downloaded so there's uh, many many different uh, log, log file here okay and play another log file it's here they also download try to download some file from the remote site and try to execute it but of course they cannot execute it because this file is not actually downloaded where uh, in the honey pot so and you can play another uh, log file here so this is the same download a file okay uh, beside the uh, the clear truck log we can also uh, they will, they will uh, archive the download file uh, when the hacker try to download a file, for example, it, it download a script file. This script file try to download another uh, file from the remote site and try to execute it. Huh. Train mode to X to try to execute. And also, uh, we can uh, each of this file name is a hack. It's a hack of the the downloads. Uh, okay, so that we can uh, go into the website. For example, the uh, wild totals the raw totals 
and then uh, we input the hex the head of this file this external file and then it will report that it have a 45 45 vendor uh, have been identified this style file is uh, uh, malware okay uh, we may try another other file then we go into the and enter the hash the hash of this file and then it report said that it's a 45 45 uh, vendor is identified as, as a honey it's a malware so that uh, this is very interesting if you have time you can we can analyze uh, this download file. Uh, we can train this uh, binary to see what uh, file they may access. For example, they may access some uh, UTC surface 